I mean, accidents play a really big part in, in, in my work. Usually, uh, to begin with, very often how a film comes about that, um, you know, that I, I very rarely kind of have an idea that, oh, I want to make a film about this or that relates to this. Uh, usually what happens is I see something and I might just be walking down the street and uh, see something that's interesting to me and, uh, and then an idea sort of comes out of that. It seemed very close. As far as I could remember, the road I'd first spotted it from was nearly a mile away. I didn't have time to stop and work out the geography, but that evening I mentioned the tower to my next door neighbour as I wondered what it was used for. This uh, building I came across because I moved to a new area of East London in the early 1980s and I could see this building from my bedroom window. And uh, apart from the fact that it was a rather bizarre structure, I also got really interested in it aesthetically because the top part of the tower was painted with such an unreflective black paint that, especially on a sunny day, uh, it looked like a hole cut out of the sky. And, uh, and uh, so I was really interested on an abstract level, this idea of like an absence of image on top of a plinth. And I noticed another identical building inside its grounds. I decided to take another look at the town in my house when I got back, but by the time I got there, it was dark. Uh, I found when I walked around and explored the new area that I was living, very often I would sort of walk to the end of a street, and at the end of the street I'd see this tower and quite often I'd think, kind of, that's really surprising it's there. I would have thought it would have been a little bit to the left or something like that. Um, so that kind of inspired the kind of narrative behind the film, which is about um, the idea of this tower actually follows somebody around. Um, one thing I'm interested in that film, um, is the way, and in many of my works, is um, using the power of the voice, creating a story which actually sort of half persuades you that what you're look that the fantastical story you're being told is kind of true. I saw the tower behind the church roof. I panicked and started running, but when I got to the end of the street, the tower was there waiting for me. I turned the corner and saw it again. I kept running, taking different turnings, but whenever I looked up, I saw the tower. Whichever way I ran, it was always in front of me. Uh, and very often when, when one starts to edit material, you know, things very, flow very smoothly and then you have a point where you don't really, can't really work out how to make a connection between one part of the film and another. <coughs> and very often one has to find, you have to find a way to do that. And very often like the ways in which one actually finds to actually artificially kind of connect these things together to me end up being like the favorite my favorite parts of the film very often when you have to do some uh, it's a kind of a repair job <laughs> to begin with or a salvage job but ultimately sometimes that can be the most interesting 